When he reappears in a biblical text, it's at the age of 32, the Bible picks up and says, I called my son out of Egypt. That's what the Bible says. I, God is saying, I'm calling my son out of Egypt. He shows up riding it on the back of a donkey in Jerusalem and proclaiming himself to be the Messiah. Now, some of the words that Jesus spoke, I believe, were remixed and changed because the Bible was not written in real time. I think this is where a lot of people don't understand how the Bible became to be. They think somebody was running around, say that one more time, Jesus, I just want to get that last sentence. <laughs> it didn't happen like that. <laughs> the Bible was written long after he was already gone, long after all those people were gone. The Bible was written from 100 AD to 900 AD by followers of who? Hermes. <laughs> yes. So now it wasn't even written as a Bible. This was just text that was copied from ancient tablets and papyruses onto parchment paper and then stored inside of vases and caves because they couldn't talk about it anywhere else. And over time, people would discover these vases and put together these papers and then rewrite them and copy them and turn them into what, it, what became many books and eventually became a canonized book after they handpicked and curated what they wanted. A lot of the information in those, that book is all from the, the Enuma Elish, the Epic of Atrahasis, the Epic of Gilgamesh, uh, the Mahabharata, some of the Bhagavad Gita, the Egyptian book of going forth by day. I mean, I can just keep going on and on and on all these tablets, right? The Code of Hammurabi. And, and so, and they turned this into a religious text when a lot of it really originally wasn't, it was spiritual enlightenment. Somebody saw, well, if I can remix this a little bit here, a little bit there, wow, I can control the masses with this information. And so the problem that you have with what happened there is that is like a fish inside of a fishbowl religion. But spirituality is what it was meant for is like a fish inside of the ocean. And so you can even put the fishbowl in the ocean, but they can't leave the bowl, right? If you put a cap on it, it's going to swim around in the bowl, in the ocean, and never experience the true fullness of what it means to be an ascended being. And so that's why it's so important for us to educate people on what really happened. I, I believe that these avatars that exist like Yeshua, I believe that they taught an incredible positive message that had been twisted and skewed over time. And I really do believe that we are here to learn this message today and to incorporate it into our lives and that the return of the Christ is the return of the Christ consciousness. That when Jesus returned, it's not him returning, it's the consciousness returning of the Christ mind. And that comes back in all of us. And by that method, the second coming will return to the planet.